I would say to any person who wants to make a feature film, if you've got an idea or a story and it really is a feature film idea and it's a good one, fantastic. Next step, make that the best damn thing you can do before you go out and film it. Make it the script, the concept as tight and as possible. Um, I have seen many l independent low budget feature films um, that as earnest as they are and sometimes as, as talented as the people are making them, they are just, they are not things that are going to sell. People are not going to take two hours out of their life to watch it um, because it's just not not good enough or there are principles of filmmaking that the filmmaker has not learnt, they have not understood. Um, you could say, well look, I'm going to go make a feature film to learn these things. Great. Then you've just, that's that will become your film school. And I've essentially, I treat my first feature film, it took me four years to make and then two years to do in post, and I treat that as my film school. Um, that's where I learnt everything that I need, you know, where I, you know, mostly what I shouldn't do, but that's where I learnt a lot. Um, if you just want to make a, a feature film for the exercise of it, well, great, you'll learn a lot. But don't expect that that film's going to do much. It's not going to probably get sold and it's not going to... But if you want to um, but if you want to go, if your purpose is, right, I'm going to make something for the marketplace, uh, and then that, I think my advice would be, all right, then know the marketplace, know what they want, uh, and know your film and know how you're going to pull it off really, really well and understand what really what makes films tick. Um, it's not just stuff on the screen. It's um, filling up minutes with stuff and conversation. It's about um, creating a real connection with the with the audience. You know, we're we're, we're bombarded with so much um, content these days. Why do you? Why is anyone going to be interested in this story? Well, only if they're emotionally invested in what you are telling them in this story that you are presenting minute by minute. You've got to keep sucking them in and making them want to sit there in that chair and watch this thing and see how it turns out. And that's what's so good about TV these days. What they're, they're, they're creating characters and stories and, and it's so well written and so well crafted that you want to watch it. Um, and I think that's what filmmakers, a lot of them are not concentrating on. They're not figuring out what, what makes someone want to sit in a chair and watch that film. Um, and that is emotional investment in what they're watching. Um, and look, I think that goes across the board. Uh, you can even look at big Hollywood films like that that fail. They're throwing you into these spectacular special effects worlds like, say, the Transformers movies. They're just, you know, they're throwing amazing things at your eyes. And, you know, and, and from a visual perspective, you're going, holy, look at that. But you're kind of disconnecting from it and you're going, oh, this is boring. How could something so magnificent be so boring? Well, it's because you don't really emotionally care about the characters or what you're watching. And I think that's where um, a lot of filmmakers, they really need to know why is the audience going to care about this and how am I going to maintain their interest? And that just comes from knowing the craft of filmmaking, which starts with your script and then ends with your execution. Um, which seem to be the two things where most independent filmmakers will fall down, craft and execution. Um, and first of all, craft, know how to tell this story, know what's going to keep people interested um, and have your foundations strong.